Hey y'all, Joe here from Southern Coastal Cooking again. I want to cook up some more of that wonderful goat meat for y'all from Shepherd Song Farm. This is a, a goat rack here. It looks gorgeous right here in the package. Um, you know, like I said, never confined, never given antibiotics or any animal byproducts. Wonderful pasture raised goat here, 100% grass fed. I'll put a link to the website where you can go and get you some of this great, great product. And you can see my other, I did some goat chops last week. So anyway, we're going to try this, this here, this rack. And I'm going to do it, I'm going to kind of open this up. Just uh, with some scissors here. I, I, you don't want to put much seasoning on this stuff. I'm telling you what, this stuff is, is some of the best tasting meat I've ever had. Um, like I said, I, I compared it last time to like a really fine steak or, or almost like a veal. It doesn't have any wild gamey taste or anything like that, like you would think in some, you know, goat that's not raised uh, like this or a different species. It's more raised for milk, cheese, something like that. So I'm going to take this rack here, blot it, dry it off here just a little bit. And if you notice, I, mean, I just smell there's no odor whatsoever to this meat. I mean, just really, really nice. It's getting it all nice and dry here. Now I'm just, I'm just going to take a little bit of a nice olive oil here and put it right there on the meat up here as well. Wow. And there's some, there's some meat right there between those ribs. I was thinking about Frenching this, but I don't want to do that. Not with all this meat here. And then, of course, on this wonderful little fat cap side here, it's just a little thin, thin layer of the fat. And I'm going to take this, the rub I used last time, it's this Mediterranean-ish by Dizzy Pig. Wonderful uh, rub for this. It's a Mediterranean uh, captures the expressive, evocative, erotic, and enhancing aromas and flavors of the region it brings in. Fresh ground to your cooking. It's at night Greek and Italian culinary imagination. Shake on the Mediterranean ish. Root vegetables, lamb, of course, goat. I mean, this is just some really good stuff. So, look, we're going to go ahead and lightly season this with this Mediterranean ish seasoning. And then, you know, this is a lower salt. This only has 100 milligrams of sodium, so that's good for me. Um, you don't have a lot of sugar in here. Uh, actually, no sugar in the Mediterranean-ish uh, blend, sugar-free, so that's really good. Really healthy blend for seasoning here. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on this side here, and then we'll turn it over and we'll do the other side. But I just want this just to uh, just kind of sit on here for you know, probably a couple hours so we cook dinner, but I'm just going to have this ready to put on the grill tonight, and like I said, just get that lightly seasoned up, and... Um, Man, I think this is going to be wonderful. I can't wait to try this. I've seen anything like those chops from Shepherd Solomon. It's just unbelievable. I'm telling you what, this goat is just something you've got to try for real. Hey, y'all. I'm out here with this wonderful Shepherd Song Farms goat rack. Rack of goat here. And it's just been, oh, that dizzy pig. Oh, it smells so wonderful. That Mediterranean-ish. And um, just beautiful. Just lightly, lightly seasoned. And what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to put it on the Traeger over here. We've got it on about 350 to 400 degrees. And we'll put it on there right now. We'll put the, uh, the fat side up. Oh, man, y'all. I, mean, I wish you could just smell this. It smells awesome. I've got my pro. Oh, goodness gracious. I've got my pro there. Let me grab some gloves. Y'all, that was embarrassing. That's my channel. I'm dead stuff like that out. You know, I'm just not your problem. I'm going to take this probe and put it right here in the center of this coat. And that's what we'll do right in the media section here. Just going to get a good, uh, good reading. There you go. Let it go here on about this medium 350 400 for just a little bit. Bring it up to about medium, medium rare. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to ball in here on a tap cue. I'm going to show y'all here uh, what we've got here. I'm going to do our current temperatures. It'll take just a second. It's going to pick up on that. All right, 29 degrees right there in the center. That that um, the, the goat. It's just so wonderful. I'm going to put it on the beef. 
rare. It's where I kind of want to be because I want to be alert. If you know between 135 and 140, it's when I kind of want to pull this guy. And look, this is Wi-Fi connected. That means my base station over there, my TAPQ base station. Let me kind of pull up here so you can see it. To my base station. My base station here is uh, it's connected to the Wi-Fi to my internet in the house. So I can leave and go anywhere. Um, I can go to work, go to the store, whatever, and still just from my phone, even if it's not connected to Wi-Fi, I can get the reading. I'll right, show my, my tap the cube is showing about 85 degrees. These gorgeous, oh, this, this gorgeous go right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Let's see, get a little bit of charge, something on the medical side. Go like that. Get that it's, it's a nice little color on there. I'm seeing some skin draw back from the bone, so that's always good. Yeah, I've got this wonderful goat at about 140. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Go ahead and take it off, put it here on the board. Yes, sir. So rest a couple minutes. Alright, y'all, so we've let it sit up just for a couple minutes here. Probably about seven or eight minutes. I think I mean, it's going to be wonderful. I'm go ahead and carve it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, in fact, just if we get the ribs here, I'm just going to cut down just like this. If I'm out of rib here, cut down just like that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Go ahead and just cut another one here. So we just want to make some, some really nice little chops. Something like that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous right there. I'm gonna try, so let's try one of these wonderful. Oh, there's just like a little goat lollipops here. They're so tender. So, just ever juicy. <laughs> and just as wonderful as the chops excellent taste to it I mean just and juice is just unbelievable the amount of juices in here mm, mm, mm. yeah y'all y'all definitely got to go to the, um, the Shepherd Song Farms and try this those wonderful goat products Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious, y'all. No wild gaming taste, no nothing. Uh, and this this is just a wonderful little dinner here. Especially just, just enough meat. I mean just perfect little layer of fat. Just just beautiful. I'll go check them out. I'll put a link in the description box where you can order this wonderful goat for yourself and uh Y'all go check it out. I appreciate y'all. Please like my videos, sub my channels. Thank y'all.